Hey everybody, I'm here today with a basic math lesson on addition and subtraction. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of adding numbers and subtracting numbers. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we'll start off with addition and addition or adding numbers together is uh, is this symbol right here. So it uses this symbol right here. Whenever you see this sign, this is the plus sign or the addition sign. Now this is what you do when you add numbers together. You're basically going to take two numbers and you're going to bring them together to make a bigger number. So for instance, if I do 4 plus 2, what I would do to learn how to add is I would draw four circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, just like that. And then I would draw two circles. 1, two, just like that, and I would add them together. So I'm doing four plus two. So to add them together, what we're going to do is we're going to count them as a whole. We're going to count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our final answer is going to be six. Four plus two is six. So we took four, which was the first number, and we drew four circles. Then we took two, which was the second number, and we drew two circles. We counted them all together, and that gave us a bigger number, which was six, which is the answer. Now let's do one more example. Let's say I wanted to figure out what three plus one was. I would start off by drawing three circles, because that's the first number. And then I'm going to draw one circle, because that's the second number. And if I have three three circles plus one circle, that's going to tell me what three plus one is. All that I have to do is count them together. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four. And our final answer for three plus one is going to be four. It's actually fairly simple and that is how to add numbers together. It's a really easy process. Now for subtracting, you're going to be taking one number away from another number. So when you see this sign right here, that's the subtraction sign. That tells you that you have to take away one number from another number. So let's say I wanted to figure out what 6 minus 2 was. I would actually start off by drawing the bigger number, the first number. I would draw six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of two circles. So I'm going to cross off two of those circles. So from this bigger number, I'm going to take away two of them. So we're going to get rid of one circle. We're going to get rid of two circles and we figure out what's left over. Let's count what's left over. One, two, three, four. That means that six minus two is four. Very, very simple. So you draw the bigger number, then you get rid of the smaller number from the bigger number, and then you get your answer. Let's do one more example. Eight minus three. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw circles for the bigger number. We're going to draw eight circles because that's a bigger number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the number of circles that are in the smaller number, which is three. So we're going to get rid of three circles from the eight. One circle, two circles, three circles. And if you take a look, eight minus three is whatever is left over. Let's count what's left over. One, two, three, four, five. That's our answer. Eight minus three is five. And that's basically it. It's actually a really simple process. For addition, you're adding numbers together and it is represented by this symbol right over here. Okay. For subtraction, you are taking one number away from another number and it's represented by this symbol right here. I've given you two examples for each to show you exactly how it's done. It's a really simple process and if you use these steps and these instructions in this video, you should be able to add and subtract numbers easily. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.